This premiere episode of Half as Interesting was made possible by Skillshare. The first 200 people to sign up with the link in the description can learn for free for two months. So here's the question. What's the single longest drivable distance between two points on Earth? But before you tell me to go drive around a roundabout infinite times, let me place this caveat. This route has to be the shortest one between two points on Earth. Okay, so there are basically four distinct major road systems on Earth, the biggest one being this one, the Eur Euraf Eurafrasian one, the one spanning Europe, Asia, and Africa. These three continents are all connected by land, so it makes sense that they're all connected by road, right? Wrong, because I lied. It's impossible to cross from Africa to Asia fully on land because of this, the Suez Canal. This is the canal that makes the trip from Europe to Asia by boat, this instead of this. The only physical connection between the two continents is therefore the three bridges spanning the canal, but the road system is still contiguous, so it still counts as one big road system. Speaking of big things, the sixth largest country in the world and the first smallest continent, Australia, has its own major road system, but there's not much more to say about it other than if you go a little bit this way, you get to America, both of them. Much like Africa and Asia, the Americas technically are not connected because of a man-made canal, the Panama Canal. But that's not a problem because there are multiple bridges spanning the narrow waterway. The problem is this, the Darien Gap. Not a single road crosses this desolate swampland spanning over the Panama-Colombia border. The area is overrun with paramilitary forces and drug lords. There's just not enough demand to make braving the marshy and dangerous area to build a road worth it. So that's why North America and South America have two completely separate, unconnected road systems. So where could our longest route start? Basically, here, 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 or here. The North American road system goes as far north as Prudhoe Bay in Canada's Canada, Alaska, and as far south as Yavisa in Panama, but this only clocks in at 7,500 miles. That's six straight days of driving, but it's not even close to the longest route. In fact, quite understandably, North America, South America, and Australia all don't have any of the longest routes. Now, common logic would suggest that the longest route would go between somewhere in Southern Africa to somewhere else in Eastern Russia, but common logic is wrong. There are a few issues. First, almost every direct route heading up the African continent routes via the west side of the continent, which brings a traveler to here, Kinshasa in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Just across the river from Kinshasa is Brazzaville in the Republic of the Congo, but no bridge spans between the two country capitals. The fastest routes between Southern Africa and Asia also almost always route through Western Europe rather than the Middle East, since the highways are better developed and faster. But this means that a traveler has to cross the Mediterranean by ferry, which disqualifies this route. So, we have to originate in Europe. In Europe, the most extreme point on the contiguous road network is Sagres, Portugal. And then you can drive as far east as the banks of the Aldan River in Russia. That's 8,437 total miles, but it's not quite the farthest you can drive. It's an even longer distance to drive here. Kasan is the only Russian town to border North Korea, and it's also the most extreme point on their road system. With no ferries and only two customs checkpoints thanks to the European Union, you can therefore drive continuously for 8,726 miles in six days and 19 hours from Sagres, Portugal to Kazan, Russia, and that is the longest continuous direct driving route in the world. If you do decide to drive this route, I suggest signing up for Skillshare, because they let you learn no matter where you are. The good news is that their classes will last you the entire drive, since they have over 16,000 of them and you can download them offline with the iOS and Android apps. A lot of people ask me all the time how to get started with making YouTube videos, and the first step is to learn how to edit. For that, I recommend their Visual Storytelling with Final Cut Pro 10 class, which gives you a great starting point. You can get two free months of learning to check out their thousands of courses by being one of the first 200 people to sign up over at skl.sh slash HAI. They made the start of this series possible, so please show them your appreciation by at least going and checking them out over at the link below.